Maintenance hole design for storm and sanitary sewers has not changed in more than 50 years. Because of traffic loading and the forces of the freeze-thaw cycle, conventional maintenance holes just don't last. Grade rings split and crumble, causing unwanted inflow and infiltration, cracks, and failures all around maintenance holes, and major disturbances to the public. Furthermore, increased sewage volumes may exceed design capacity of the treatment facilities, which limits growth and increases costs for municipalities and regions. Fixing this problem is costly and disruptive, and because the same materials and methods are used for the repair, continuous and expensive rehabilitation has become the norm. DCAST has the answer. A maintenance hole system that is unified, longer-lasting, and impenetrable. It is called the IFC. The IFC has a revised taper top, which is compatible with the standard riser sections currently in use. Instead of multiple grade rings, the IFC has a single precast adjustment unit. The IFC components fit within each other and are bound by a high-strength grout to form a single, monolithic structure. Having no horizontal joints is the key to minimizing inflow and infiltration. To top it all off, a telescopic cast-iron frame fits into the concrete monolithic structure, making adjustment to final asphalt faster, easier, and with no disruption to the existing pavement structure. The frame floats with the asphalt, eliminating failures caused by the freeze-thaw cycles. No more grade rings, no more inflow and infiltration issues, no more costly rehabilitation. For the IFC installation, the lower sections up to the taper top are the same as the conventional design. Once the road is constructed, the maintenance hole is adjusted to grade. An adjustment unit is selected and set on shims so that the frame matches base asphalt in height and slope. The precast adjustment unit, which comes in 50 mm increments, is placed on the shim stacks within the taper top. Measurements are verified to ensure proper height and slope. Decast inflatable form maintains a watertight seal between the adjustment unit and the taper top for any grade angle or shim height. It is easily installed and removed for a fast and efficient insulation. A high strength engineered grout was developed specifically for the IFC. Mixed to a fluid consistency to uniformly fill the joint, it installs quickly and sets within 25 minutes. Removing the form reveals a clean, finished surface that requires no further work. This simple process is faster and more repeatable than conventional installations. The telescopic cast iron frame and standard OPS cover are easily set in place. The surrounding road sub-base granular material is then reinstated and compacted. For base asphalting, Asphalt is compacted between the frame and the concrete structure to ensure the frame is cushioned and acts as one unit with the surrounding asphalt. The spreader and asphalt compaction equipment drive directly over the frame and cover for uniformity. For final asphalting, the conventional installation requires cutting the base asphalt, excavating the granular material, and mortaring additional grade rings. The IFC eliminates these steps. The base asphalt and pavement subbase are not disturbed during the placement of the final lift of asphalt. The frame is suspended on three temporary steel shims, slightly higher than the final asphalt thickness. Once loose asphalt is packed under the frame flange, the temporary shims are removed and the frame rests on the loose asphalt. The compactor drives directly over the maintenance hole, fully compacting both the asphalt under the frame and the surrounding road surface. The frame is pressed into the paved surface and moves with the asphalt. A solid, single concrete structure with nowhere for cracks to initiate a simplified, faster installation process, an innovative floating frame and cover, a system that saves money and promotes growth. The IFC is the first major innovation to maintenance hole systems in more than 50 years and warrants the attention of all stakeholders in this industry.